So, I went to my local Walmart yesterday and I picked up this, the Busby Alpha Auto 72. A lot of you, if you've been on the channel, know that I really like the Dutch Zone Tomahawk 60. A lot of people, including myself, had issues where the pusher or the rotation mech or basically some piece of the blaster would just break off causing it not to work and you want to know how many tomahawk 60s broke for me three of them and yet i didn't even go hard with them i had played with some tomahawk 60s before and they were super fun but then after like a little bit they just break and i'm very disappointed at because it's a really good darts on blaster but it's gonna be kind of hard to compare it to this awesome blaster while that thing is broken I think I have something that I probably like a little more than it because this is the Busby Alpha Auto 72, a 72 dart drum blaster. You heard that right, 72 darts and it is removable. Pull out the pin, 100% removable. They are bigger than the dart zone Tomahawk 60 drum. Yep, and it works a lot differently. It's a two-stage trigger unlike the Tomahawk 60 and some other blasters that require rev trigger. You basically half pull the rev up the flywheels and then pull the trigger all the way down for full auto action. And yes, you can fire the blaster without the drum, but I wouldn't really recommend you do that. But reloading the drum itself. Now, this is a heck of a lot better than the Tomahawk 60. Looking at it from the front, it looks very similar, but instead of loading your darts from the top two times, you actually just come in from back here and uh, just load them in the back of the blaster like that. It's effortless and easy, which is a lot better than having to bend your darts. And yes, it is compatible with the ever-lovable Adventure Force waffles they will feed perfectly fine into this drum which is absolutely awesome so if you want to use more accurate darts instead of long distance darts you can so the ergonomics on this blaster are really flipping good i mean it's like busby hired somebody else to do this grip because that is oversized. Even if you had an adult hand, you still have room under here. But it's awesome. The foregrip is a little bit smaller, but it's still very comfortable. And would you look at that? And then strike stock attachment point. It's like this thing tried to rip up the Tomahawk 60, but made it a better version. Now, there are some downsides to the stock attachment point because if you put a regular nerf stock on, this part is still going to stick out a little bit. But, it ain't going to be that bad because the blaster is already super long and the stock is really comfortable and plus. You would not use this stock on any other nerf blaster because it's too short. You got a sight that you can move forward and backwards and also look through it. And it's not really going to help you at all because this purple is blocking the sight but hey that's all right the colors are really nice and it looks really good remember that time where Busby used to make a lot of blasters and they were good but the quality was so cheap this does not have any creaking at all none like that is absolutely awesome you got a jam door for clearing out jams and malfunctions, but I did not have any jams and malfunctions with this blaster. The aesthetics are really good. It looks a lot like a Thompson submachine gun. And this is the second Thompson submachine gun from Adventure Force, being the Villainator, which is the first one from its line, which is still an absolutely awesome springer to this day. That is the blaster overview. You got a grip, you got a two stage trigger, you got a sight that you can move forward and backwards, you got a stock that reveals an end strike stock attachment point, really comfortable grip, four grip, 
and yeah, just a really nice, pleasing aesthetic blaster that fires really well. Did I mention the performance? 90 to 100 FPS. Alrighty, everybody. So we have the Alpha Auto 72. We're gonna be doing some single shots, and then we're gonna be full auto. So. Yeah, they say not to tilt the blaster up or down, and when I did that, I had some jams, so we're just going to do flat shots. I know the rate of fire is super slow, but I'm actually glad it is because it takes so long to empty the drum and if you had like two or three of these or more, you could last for an entire game. Holy crap. Overall conclusions, if you want a blaster that is the same price as the Tomahawk 60 but don't have to worry about long semi-auto trigger pulls, and probably will last a lot longer, but maybe it's just me. If you're looking for an entry level full auto that will last for a super long time primarily with this much capacity in the removable drum, it's a must buy for that. And I got a question for you. Do you like this or the Tomahawk 60 more? Let me know in the comments section below, but the Alpha Auto 72 is fantastic. It is a ton of fun to use, and I think it's definitely worth the $30 asking price. If you like watching my content, thank you very much. Make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, do all that algorithmic garbage, and I will see y'all in the next one.